This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. How are you? It's Alex Bennett with that jaunty theme song of ours. Uh, we begin the uh, the ramble. You can tell it's the ramble. Otherwise, I couldn't show you that, could I? No, that's uh, it's the ramble, and it goes until... Uh, Goes until midnight tonight, I guess. I don't know. I'm. I uh, to begin with, we don't have a guest tonight. We don't have anybody to talk to. Let me pull my shirt out. I hate these pants showing, and then also because they're shorts, it looks like I'm wearing just underpants when I do this. See, and uh, if I stand up, you can see these are actual shorts. Okay, so leave me alone. All right. Anyway. Um, uh, I, uh, oh boy, I've just been having a, a day. Anyway, we don't have a guest tonight because uh, Bob Rubin, who was supposed to be with us tonight, he had a tooth pulled yesterday and a, a mouth infection, and uh, so he's out of commission. Tomorrow night we'll maybe have Stephen Pearl. Maybe he's sick. Who knows? Uh, and I, you know, I've been having just one hell of a day. Um, a try, you know, I guess i got to say something. Okay, I have to admit my age, uh, not the actual age that I am, which is like 87, uh, but uh, or I feel like 87. Um, I, um, I I just feel as though I can't cope with the technology anymore. Uh, here's what happened: I've decided that I don't want my current cable system. Uh, and I, I, it's, it's Spectrum. And um, uh, they, uh, today they offered me a, a better deal. They offered me like $251 a month. Uh, but uh, uh, Fios is still offering me, and with great massive amounts of Internet bandwidth, uh, what, uh, $233 a month. Okay, and that, that's for like everything, you know. They, uh, and... Um, so I told them I was thinking of leaving, and what can I do? Because I don't want to lose my email address. And they said, well, you're going to lose your email address unless you want to pay $20 a month and keep Internet service. But you have to use the Internet service. And I'm going, fuck. You know, I, I guess I'm, I've had, I'll tell you my email address because it's all over the place anyway. It, it's been a Bennett at nyc.rr.com for... 15, 16 years, what, since 2004, 2003 maybe. Uh, so that makes it about, yeah, it makes it about 14 years. Uh, and I've had the same email address. And so everybody who has me uh, listed, let me turn on this sign, otherwise girlfriend will be mad at me. Um, so the fact is that I've had to, uh, I have had this address for so long that everybody has my address, and every company I do business with has that address, and uh, every, you know that's my address. But once you say goodbye to your ISP, it's so long for now. Now I was downtown, but I came uptown and I used uh, Time Warner, and I got to keep my email. Uh, so I am in the position of where I looks like I'm going to have to lose my email, okay? And I have to do something about that. And how do I do something about that? Well, there are several ways. The best of which is switch over to something else. And I decided, you know, I'm never going to let this happen to me again. So I wanted to get one of these mail systems that are, you don't pay for, and that uh, you don't, if you quit something, you don't lose it, okay? And um, uh, so I, w I went over and got a Gmail account. And it's pretty simple. It's a Bennett something at uh, gmail.com. And I thought that would be pretty easy. 
But it's not that easy. In fact, it's a pain in the fucking ass. Okay, let me let me tell you a couple of things that have been happening with me on this deal. Uh, first of all, I don't know what's wrong with my with my outlook, but when I send a letter, okay, using Gmail, it drops the Gmail in my all mail slot, but not once, twice. But it shouldn't even be in there. It should only be under sent mail, right? That's problem number one, okay? So I'm trying to figure that one out. I have no idea why it, it works that way or doesn't work that way. And uh, uh, I, I, maybe one of you out there can, uh, can tell me and give me an idea of why it works that way or doesn't work that way or something. Uh, but today I decided that I would go to all my various and sundry vendors and start changing my email address like uh, Netflix and uh, Hulu and uh, you know uh, uh, PayPal and uh, what else do I have a bunch of things you know where where they need my email address and I thought I'd change it what the hell change it so it was all going pretty pretty simple uh, you know I mean they would all send letters back saying hey uh, is this your new address and you go yes and they go okay thank you very much you know they send it to your old email and say are you changing you go yes and then they they change it and they do all that so uh, you know that all that all was going pretty simple um, I can't stand my legs showing up like this it, it was showing all that that's simple okay okay wait a minute. hold on a second folks I gotta go here here we go I want to I want to do something here a second. I got to configure this video so that I am uh, uh, zoomed in a little bit here. Here we go, and uh, then I will do this. I will bring this up like this, and then ah, good. You got a closer view of me, and I don't have to. Uh, uh, I don't. You don't have to see my legs. Okay. Anyway. So I'm, I, as I told you, what I was doing is I was doing all these various uh, and sundry things, trying to get the, uh, 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 change all these various things, and it was going just fine. And then I said, well, you know, I better tell Microsoft that I have a new address because they have my address as my sign-in. So I went to Microsoft to try and figure out how to do it. Just try to change your email address in Microsoft. Now, mind you, Microsoft is this company that pretty much was king of the hill at one time. I mean, they they certainly, you know, kind of invented most of what we're doing today, and and certainly gave it uh, gave it wings. Uh, and you would think that they would. You could with all these other places. I would go it goes go to uh, your. Uh, your preferences or go to your account and there in account it says email address it goes uh, you you know change you hit click change you change the email address it's that simple try and change your address if you have a Microsoft account and you probably have it if you have like uh, Microsoft Office or if you have Skype because they've all merged those together go try and change your email address okay I spent about 45 minutes trying to find the place where I could change my email address. And when I finally did, I said, I want to change my email address. And then I put in a new address there. And then I said, uh, and then it says verify. They want to verify that this address works, right? So I click verify and they say, we're sending you a mail right now. Just click on that and all will be good to go. And I'm figuring, I got it made. I click on it and I never get any email to, to the address. Now I can send email to that new address uh, and to my old address uh, uh, very easily from anything, from anywhere. But somehow Microsoft, when you click that button to have them verify it, they don't send you shit. I didn't, you know, I don't know where it went. I went into my spam filters. I looked all over my computer for it, thinking, hey, maybe it was my fault. No. There's something at Microsoft where they don't like, it says Gmail, and they probably don't like, they don't like Google. And so they're not, they're not going to try and get you to change your address to Gmail. So it's really, it's really 
pathetic. It's really fucking pathetic. Uh, and and uh, I, I can't believe that Microsoft makes things that hard. I mean, they make it hard all the way around. You know using Skype, all the difficulties with it. But you can't, for instance, if you, if you want to complain about Skype to Microsoft, just try and get a hold of somebody at Microsoft. I don't think anybody works there. I think they're all either all they're all out to lunch or nobody works for Microsoft. It's just a shell company because you cannot get a hold of anybody. You remember the old days when you had a problem with a Microsoft product? Hey, there was a number there, contact. Blah, 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 blah. You called the number, maybe you had to wait on the line for 20 minutes to get somebody. But eventually somebody came on the line and helped you with it. There is no telephone number for Microsoft. I don't think they have tech support. In fact, I'm sure they don't have tech support. And they say, well, go to the FAQ file. It's a frequently asked questions. And oh yeah, the uh, uh, FAQ will really fucking help you. It will fi fack you up, is what it will do. Oh, Jesus. You know. So anyway, I'm saying to you out there, folks, go ahead. Try, try, and, okay. try and change your, your email address in Microsoft for the, for, for the account. Most accounts don't mind you changing your email account. People change email accounts all the time. They move to another city. They have a new cable company. Hey, hey, bingo, you get a new address. All right? Or uh, uh, you, um, you, know, you go to something. Uh, that, that's one of the reasons why you want to go to one of these things like Gmail. Like in spite of the fact that in uh, Outlook I'm having trouble with it because uh, it somehow is sending the mail back that I'm sending, but it sends it into an all-mail file. Uh, I've got to figure out how to do away with that. But that being the case, uh, you know, it, we're not, we don't really have a problem with this thing that much. You know, that's, that's, a, that, that's, a, that's probably something either I've done wrong or something I've configured wrong or whatever. I can't find anything on the Internet that tells me how to not make it happen, you know. Uh, but that's, you know. So anyway, all of this frustrates the shit out of me. And um, I, I keep saying to myself, why, you know, maybe I just need to become a Luddite. Maybe I just need to stop all of this. Stop GabNet, stop the show, stop anything that makes me have to rely on the Internet. Turn off my email, don't communicate with anybody, you know. If they want to get a hold of me, I have a phone number. You can call me, but I don't want to have to like figure out why is this all these messages on on Gmail doubling up when in fact I should be able to use Gmail um, quite seamlessly in Outlook. I mean, I've begun to realize how it works. You know, now if I mail one out of my mail uh, out of the what is it the Gmail. Uh, Program the actual one you can go online and use. That one it doesn't seem to double up the uh, uh, the stuff. Uh, let me let me see. Does it or doesn't it? I I I've, I've got uh, here here we got. It. Let's say I want to compose a letter, and I want to send it to my old address, a Bennett at um, nyc dot rr dot com. By the way, you can all send me letters now, right? And um, in fact, it has my, uh, <laughs> it has the picture that I use on, uh, oh, this is really stupid. It, it has a picture, it, and, I, and I'll just go, testy, ta, 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 okay. And then I try, I go and I uh, send it. Um, and uh, if I go to send mail, it will tell me that I just, uh, no, it didn't say that I just sent it. Yeah, it is an undersent mail. Son of a bitch. See? There we go. I don't know. See? Son of a bitch. It's just, this is ridiculous. Okay? And I go here, and let's see if it shows up in my mail. Uh, I just sent it. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, and is it down in my all mail? Yes, it's in my all mail. There we go. Uh... So it, 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 it came in. Uh, but why, why did it come in? Because I, didn't, I sent it to uh, the uh, address here at, uh, uh, yeah, they've been, a, and, and in all mail, it shows up. 
and I don't need it to show up in all mail. See, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the problem is. I may have to just take it out and put it back in. I don't know what the story is. See, that's the problem. So I'm, I'm just up to my ass in this, in this problem of it doubling over. And yet, if I were to send uh, a letter from, uh, oh, using, using Gmail from, from my main account, to uh, uh, a Bennett da, 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 at Gmail yeah, Gmail dot com. Okay, I send that, and I go. Uh, oh, I, I, did I spell mail right? Did I? Huh can't tell my glasses I need my glasses where are they see I'm trying to I'm trying to and there it is okay and subject is me love I'll say love okay and I send it to to that let's see if it shows up in my Gmail uh, yep it shows up there and then if I go over to my Gmail client online is it there there it is yep so and it's only once. That's very strange. It's all, it's all just amazing to me. I have no idea why uh, this thing happens, but you know, it's ridiculous. Okay, so uh, uh, I, you know, all day long I've been going insane with this, and I wrote everybody and said this is my new address. Uh, but what I may do is, you know. I, 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 and I and I don't want to use my Mac account because I don't think it's reliable. And it's also, these are all IMAP accounts. Now at IMAP accounts, in case you've ever seen the name IMAP on, uh, on a, a, a mail program, IMAP is a program in which, let's say I've got this um, Gmail client that I go online and look at. And then I also use it on my Outlook. They work with each other. If I were to erase something on my Outlook in the Gmail, it would erase it on the other. Or if I were to drop it in the deleted folder, it would drop, drop it into the deleted folder. In other words, they're all coordinated. The good thing about that is they all stay in sync with each other. The bad thing is, let's say you want to keep something on your Outlook, but you want to get rid of it in the Gmail. You can't do that. You know, they, it, you, you can take it and move it to another folder that's an Outlook folder and then get rid of it. But, you know, I mean, it, 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 I just, I don't like any of it and it's all too messy. And life, and, and you know, I was paying, I've been paying $336 a month for my cable system, for everything, right? Uh, they're willing to go down to 251, and uh, who else is willing to go down? Uh, but also, FiOS is willing to give it to me for 233. So this is all saving a lot of money. Uh, one will let me keep my old email address, in which case I can write everybody and say the old email address is back, uh, or I just I can just send all my mail out using that email address, uh, or. Um, yeah, I could do that. Or I could just get Fios, and of course they would give me an email address, and then I could make that my email address. But as soon as I leave Fios, I'm going to have the same problem. So where is that company that has an email server that's free, or I'm willing even to pay a couple of bucks a month for it, that I can keep forever? You know, that no matter what company I go to, and that's where the government comes in. The go where's the government in all of this? Where are they saying that, you know, when I, uh, when I move, I go to the post office and I uh, fill out a little card and it says where I'm moving to, and then all my mail is sent to that address forever. And in the meantime, I can let everybody know where I'm going to be, but in the meantime, my mail still gets to me, right? Uh, they should require cable companies to do exactly the same thing to allow you to keep an email address uh, for uh, at least a year so that you can then get you, wean yourself off of that and into something else. 
you know, so I, I don't, you know, I just, I just think this is, it's, it's all too terribly ridiculous. Now, today was another uh, day to make, uh, be all uh, for blungent about. It's a word I just made up. I hope you all enjoy the word. Uh, 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 but uh, it, I, something that made me just absolutely crazy today was that it was the day that we paid our taxes for this year. My, my business manager finished the taxes, and he sent them to us. And um, uh, I'm getting some money back, but most of that money goes to my accountant to keep him uh, to say thank you for what he did. So uh, maybe a total of 600 bucks will wind up back in my pocket. Ta-da! Big deal. Anyway, where am I? Okay, so uh, I'm talking to him, and he said something that I found quite interesting. You know... As you get older, you start worrying about old people's stuff. You start thinking about old people's stuff. You start thinking and caring about old people's stuff. And the old people's stuff that I cared about today was when he said to me, he said, you do realize, you know, the reason you always get money back from the state and the reason you always get money back uh, from uh, the city, uh, uh, they're from basically from the state. The state and the city are the same, uh, com the same return. Uh, but the reason you get money back, he says, because the state, uh, and both the states, because I also paid, what, nine, I got, I'm getting nine dollars this year back from California. I don't know what I did in business-wise in California, but I did something. Um, so, uh, uh, <laughs> it's very funny. I mean, so what happened here is that, um, uh, the, um, uh, The state does not charge. In other words, they don't tax Social Security. Right? So all the money you made on Social Security is not included in your income. And so my wife and I are both on Social Security. We both take a Social Security check. And we're okay. We're cool with that. That's fine. That's terrific. It's the government that taxes your social security. And, oh, and by the way, and also the state doesn't tax pensions. And the government, the United States government does. Now what's that all about? You know, we're old people. We need every penny we can get. And you're taxing our pensions? Go figure, you know. What kind of fucking country are we living in? Well, look who's president. You know, we 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 we're we're, we're up shit's creek. That's all there is to it. Anyway, um, for better or for worse, you know. And I I I'm gonna turn on the phones here. I'm gonna turn on Skype. Skype, babe. Product brought to you by Microsoft. Um, <laughs> uh, I have a picture on my, on my per, I have a personal a Skype account. And on that personal Skype account, I have a, a picture of myself with an ice cream cone. And that's the one that winds up on my mail because it's a Microsoft. How, how does it wind up on my mail? Because Google isn't a Microsoft product. So where did Google get that picture of me with the ice cream cone? I have no idea. Anyway. But I, uh, 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 you know, I, I, I wish, and I wish there was somebody at Google I could call about this. But of course, I'm sure there's nobody at Google you can call either, because why should they do this? Let me see, are we going out? I haven't even looked to see. I don't care about anything tonight. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm, we're up there. And there are a lot of people watching me right now, griping about the uh, old things and new things. In we talked about technology tonight, and we've talked about old people stuff like Social Security. So, Anyway, so I'm waiting for somebody to call and start this whole thing, and I'm giving you ex exactly so we, what it is. It's not uh, 1030 yet. Now, a lot of people don't listen to the first half hour of the program. And, it, and you know they don't. And in a couple of weeks, and uh, with stuff we're going to do, they're going to be sad that they didn't listen to the first half hour of the show. Okay, uh, but here we got. Um, 
We've got uh, 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 Phil. Are you, are you there, Phil? Yeah. Let me see uh, here. Let me uh, let me uh, go over to you. There we go. Well, you haven't. Uh, you're not. Uh, you, 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 we don't have a picture on you, Phil. You don't. You don't have. You don't have my picture. No, I don't have your picture. And oh. I, here we go. We already. We're already up to four people, and I haven't even breathed heavy. Uh, I put uh, Jerry Lewis's picture. Uh, on there, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Here, here. I was going to, I and I and I changed my name to Jerry Lewis because I was going to say I came back from the dead, mm -hmm. and you know I wasn't talking about the disc jockey, the disc jockey. I was talking about Ch Chuck. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's uh, the other disc jockey's name? Uh, that you know, the, uh, I can't remember after all of these telethons. But, you know, really. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work. Didn't work. If uh, if my picture didn't show up as a Your picture, we, as uh, there there we go. You know that was a picture that that looked like a picture of Ted Cruz is what it looked like. Oh no, I changed it to a picture of Jerry Lewis. All right, well the, the, Skype doesn't keep up with anything. You were belly aching about uh, Microsoft, and now I get to belly ache about Skype. Mm -hmm. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Well, Skype is owned by Microsoft, so you're griping about the same people. Yeah, well, you know, it's a conspiracy. They're trying to keep a good man down. It, well, you know? I, I just yeah. did. You hear any of that, uh, Rob? Because you're 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 our tech no, you're you're our tech guy. Yeah, you, I heard you. Why am I getting all those double? I would I would start again by stripping Sky uh, uh, your Outlook of all of your emails, and start again. Re-add everything in and see because I don't see why you'd be getting double. Double. Uh, Could it be because yeah. I I went online and in the thing to uh, stop uh, the forwarding uh, to stop mail from going into the spam <laughs> file? I put in names, like for instance your name as an example. That if it sees your name, to put it, don't put it, don't put it in the delete file. And yet it still puts these things in the delete file, but it also puts them in the all mail file. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I've never used that feature. Is that a Google feature or is that an Outlook thing you did? It's a Google feature. Okay. Yeah. So it basically, it's like a white list? Yeah, it's a white list. Yeah. So, I mean, what should I do? Just uh, strip, a, strip a Gmail as an account on Outlook and then reinstall it? Well, I, I would, you know what you... Wait a minute, though. If you send yourself an email, like you're not in a whitelist for yourself, and you're getting two of them, right? So it's well, not I put, that. I put in Alex Bennett there. Yeah. So remove yourself and test it and see if it gives you just one. Yeah, that could be. Who knows? You know. If it's not that, I, I would. If if that doesn't fix it, then there's some crazy setting you got. Just start again with Outlook. You know, remove it. And uh, are you only getting one email as as uh, on the A Bennett account? What do you mean, one mail on the... Uh, I mean, when you send an email from A. Bennett, you're, or you get an email to A. Bennett, you're only getting one of them. Well, no, if I send one, let's say I send one from Outlook, and I do it sending it through Gmail, okay, and I send it to you, Rob. Yeah. It shows up, number one, it should only show up in the sent file in, in Gmail, but it shows up in the all mail file. Oh, so there's some sort of general account for everything that is all mail uh, addresses and as well as the Gmail? That could be... No, 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 no. Alex, have you used Gmail before? No. Maybe you have a BCC set? It does these conversations. It may. You may have a BCC set. Check to see if you're... you're you only want to see it in your sent items, but it's sending it to your... It's sending it to your inbox. Yeah. So maybe, like a lot of people do, they like to have, you might have to check to see if you've got a BCC set, which means yeah. every email you well, send. Where would I see where that BCC was set? It would be, and in, in, it, obviously it's going to be in, um, I don't have Outlook on this machine, so I can't look, but you might have a BCC, it might automatically be set up to send you an e a copy of every email you send in your inbox. Yeah. Well... Yeah, it could be that. And the other thing is, well, you, wait a minute. Well, Gmail does it like a conversation. So every time so you... So Outlook. Yeah. It's annoying. So it, sometimes I, I don't like that. Like, I'll start a new email, 
And then the person I'm emailing will say, no, I wanted to see all the, you know, yeah. the conversation we had. I'm like, it got really, there was too much there. I just yeah. wanted to start a new email, you know, clean. And they're like, no, I need to see all the. They keep them, stuff. yeah, they keep them filed that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Reed, you get your luggage? Yeah, I got my luggage. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know where you uh, where you would find it. I'm looking in Gmail's uh, online thing, and and there's doesn't seem to be anything there. But Phil, uh, I you know I I still am not clear how I'm getting compensated. I wrote to the Air Delta, the airline, and I wrote to my travel insurance company. So whoever you know sort of comes through first is the one I'll go with. I did ask Delta for an upgrade, but uh, I didn't hear back from them, so we'll see. Yeah. No, it can't hurt to try. Yeah, never hurts to try. I mean, if they got the authority to do it or the ability to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they sent you a certificate called a positive upgrade or something. This way you can use it at any time. Hmm. And and the place to use it is on the way back. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So I, I'm I'm all for blunging about this thing. There's a there's a I found a uh, uh, a tutorial on how to s- make sure that Outlook automatically CCs you or BCCs you on a and it's it's in the email rules, it's in manage rules and alerts. What on Outlook? Yeah. In so Outlook? click file and then click file in your Outlook inbox. In my Outlook go inbox. to the go to the info category. Wait a minute, info category. I don't even have any of that. What are you? Are you talking about? Uh, this is like for the Mac, you know. Uh, Outlook tips and tricks. Yeah. Uh, rules? Nah. Ah, well, fuck it. Fuck it. I just, you know. It, it, it could easily be that. It, it's automatically BCCing. Well, how can you tell it not to BCC? Well, I've got to Google that. You know? I've got to Google that. It's just not. So, oh, I had a company that was doing it. It was driving me nuts. Every email you sent from your smartphone was mm-hmm. BCCing back to yourself. And I, I don't like that feature. A lot of people do. They want a record in their inbox of every correspondence that they send to anybody. I don't anybody. want that. I don't want that. I just I want. I don't mail. like it either. But I just want my mail to come to my inbox. Right. Right. You don't want to see every email you send come back to you in your inbox. That's right. Yeah. So that's the way I am. Yeah. But no. we're old school. Some of the younger folks like it for some reason. Oh really? I think it gives them a record of what they're you know. It gives them a record of what they're doing in their inbox, and that's how they manage everything, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Confuses the crap out of me. I, You know, it it doesn't come through twice in my regular inbox. It just comes through twice in my all mail in Gmail. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really weird. It's really I don't know weird. what that is. Yeah. All mail may be a combination of, uh, of, in, of inboxes, you know, maybe... Yeah, maybe you've got two two accounts, or um, or in Outlook, it's showing your uh, other accounts as well as the Gmail. I and have, so, if you want to see all mail, then it's just another filter. Uh, this is riveting. Yeah, this is riveting. <laughs> kind of like paint drawing, huh? Yeah, that's why. Hey, I'm, Alex, that's, uh, that's, I hate to bring it up, but my car rental—they gave me free satellite radio yeah $8 a day mm-hmm. uh, courtesy so you know I, I tune into a bunch of the different shows but one voice that I heard in tuning around mm-hmm. was uh, Christina's voice yeah who I believe was on your show for mm-hmm. a couple of years yeah let's not talk about that uh-huh <laughs> yeah, why why yeah I don't even want to talk about it don't want right. to talk about it. The last time I did, she went on the air and had people drop from drop uh, quit Facebook, uh, my Facebook page. So I just don't even want to get into it. Yeah. Okay. You know. Well, it took me a while to find that that channel. It's hard to uh, figure out what their programming is. I don't know. 
uh, how people do it. I have three presets on the thing, and I tried to put them in, but to to remember the times and the stations, and let, I guess if people have it all the time, you know, they would be used to it. But well, that's, I, I that's why most things. people who subscribe to uh, to uh, Sirius probably only listen to one or two channels, and that's it. You know, they've got a couple of favorite music channels, and they've got maybe some kind of news channel or something if they're the, if they're so inclined. And that's pretty much it, you know. Yeah. Well, I listen to uh, our local sports, uh, our, our baseball team. I turn on the terrestrial. I cannot figure out, you know, I know they have play-by-play -play on the satellite, but I can't figure out where it is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I go through the dial. And it's not very clear. So I just, I go over to the terrestrial station. But the problem is that the terrestrial, they, they moved a lot of the sports talk to FM. You know, and I'm I'm driving at a distance. Uh, you know, I'll go up towards Ashtabula, towards Lake Erie. They used to have it on KDK AM, and that station. That, I still think they should do that because you can pick it up at night. You pick up the games everywhere. Yeah. But you know, I was driving outside the range of the FM, and uh, the AM just had some talk or something. So I really miss them. You know, that was one of the best things about AM radio was. You could, you know, drive a couple of hours and be away from your home market, still tune it in on the AM band. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. You know. Um, but, but according to you, all radio is dead. They just don't know it yet. Right? They just don't. They really don't know it. It's, you know, it, it's a dead medium. I mean, and, and uh, uh, so is this show. But that's another story <laughs> altogether. You know. And uh, dead or dying, I don't know which. Dead or dying, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it, 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 part of the problem is if I come in here and I've had technical difficulties for the whole day, it still preoccupies me because I'm. it's not like I'm going to another room to do it, you know? I'm still yeah. in the same room where the problem is. And I'm sitting here listening to you and I'm thinking to myself, he's sitting in that seat all day long trying to fix this. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, I just noticed this little problem a couple of hours ago. And who knows why that happens, you know. Uh, Alex, what's going on with life in the passing lane? Are, are you uh, doing any new additions? No, no, it's uh, that's over with. Okay, that's finished. That's uh, I had a, a brief uh, interest by a major book company at publishing it as a audio book, uh, but. Uh, they said they were going to call, and then they never did. I didn't approach them. I was actually approached on it. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I hope they'll do that. Well, uh, I doubt it. You know. So I mean, I, what's it, up with your photographs? Uh, oh, that thing. Yeah. Oh, this is a, in case people don't know. This is a person who died, uh, who was a photographer, and left me and another guy her entire photo collection as it were uh, and she was really very good I mean there's a lot of stuff she shot has great historic value in that culturally historic value uh, in, uh, because of the kind of people she shot which were a lot of the you know the punk rockers in in New York City a lot of the people in the porn business I mean it was a it's a it, it's literally a history of at least uh the 1970s, 1980s in, in photographs. And uh, so we got them, and we also got with it a uh, behest of, a bequest rather, of uh, $150,000 to work with this, these photographs and get them shown and get them displayed and uh, get them out there and to get them all, uh, for instance, we have to have all of them. Uh, uh, put onto, you know, a digitally transformed and put onto a digital file. Uh, and uh, so we have the money to do that with, or we're supposed to. And we were supposed to have money to be able to put these things in a storage unit, which we have them in currently. But somehow the lawyers involved in this whole thing have thrown this whole thing into probate, and we haven't gotten a penny. And we're paying rent, you know. And every month there has to be a different payment for rent, and it's a pain in the yeah. fucking ass. Yeah, the storage fees will eat up that money. Well, no, it, it's years. not that bad. It's five hundred a month, which we this, we can afford at this point, you know. 
a lot of money to me, man. Well, it's a lot. It's a lot of money, but we have one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's six thousand a year. It's six thousand a year. So that, ten years. So you can store them for twenty years. Yeah, yeah. That'll be it. Yeah, yeah. but we plan. How much to, are the lawyers getting? Oh right. Uh, who, who knows? How, the, the lawyers still get money off fine. a dead person. You know. Yeah. That's, oh, that, that's why they're going to probate. <laughs> that's the interesting part about it. I said to, I said to my business manager because I told the story the other day about getting this incredible bill from my lawyers. Which, incidentally, I found out wasn't just for the five pages that they did, which was the, uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, I forget what they call it. Uh, but also, he did a thing called an MOL, which is a memo of law or something like that. And that's the main thing. And that thing's about 20 pages long and is full of legal shit. And to, it completely lays out our case and why legally we're right and so on and so forth. And when I read that, I was sitting here cheering, reading the thing, because he was hitting all the best points about why we're in the right and he's in the wrong. Uh, but um, still, and they lowered the price down about about a thousand dollars or so. But uh, uh, thirteen thousand is a lot of money. But then again, we stopped to think about the fact that we haven't paid rent in this apartment for the last three over three years. So maybe that's like you know we can apply that to what the rent would have cost us, and yeah. and it's not. And you'll get that money back, right? Where's, if this all finishes and and it comes well, out what you expect, that's going to all be paid for. As I said the other night, Black. you know I think we will win. I have no doubt we will win. If you read this thing he wrote, it, it, it's absolutely a winnable case because he has everybody dead to rights, okay, including the landlords. All right, but. Then you win. You would, uh, Mr. So and So. You have, and uh, you have to pay all his legal fees. And Mr. So and So, you have to pay him three hundred thousand dollars or something. Problem number two. Go get it. You know. Then you're in court for another two years trying to get the fucking money out of the guy. You know. Uh, I mean, that, that, that what I'm saying is that just because you could, a case is winnable doesn't mean you're going to see shit. Yep. You know, for all we know, he took his house and put it in his wife's name or his dog's name or something like that. And, you know, there's nothing for us to go and attach. So yeah. we have to hope he wins against the landlord so that he'll get paid a lot of money so we can have our hand out and grab it before he leaves the room, you know. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Just because you, you, you prevail doesn't mean you're going to win in the end, that you're going to get anything. So, um, uh, you know, but we're into this thing so far now, so deep, that there's, it's not like we're in the beginning and we go, ah, that's a little too rich for our blood. Uh, thank you. You know, you, you guys fight it out. No, we're at the point now where it's a point of no return. We've got about 40 grand into this thing so far. And uh, before it's over, I'm sure there'll be another 20 or 30 grand. So, uh, it, 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 you know, it's, it's not a cheap thing. And my, by the way, I mean, we're, being, we're the ones being sued, so we had to counter sue. So, you know, so uh, uh, th th there's another reason why I had to go out and find a lawyer to do this thing. It just turned out that uh, when we found out, uh, when we saw the lawyer, he told us what the story was. And uh, we kind of smiled and looked at each other and went, wow, this is pretty terrific, you know. Uh, but we thought up until that time that we were just trying to protect ourselves. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's but it, the, so I said to my business manager, I said, my next life remind me to become a lawyer. And he said, I won't because then you'll be an asshole, you know. He said, because I deal with lawyers every day, he says, and I don't know any that aren't assholes. I said, well, yeah, but if they're your asshole, you know, then that's okay. Mine doesn't happen to be an asshole. He happens to be a really nice guy, which makes me fear that we might lose because he's too nice. But, you know, but he ain't that nice, so. Uh, but, it, you know, it, 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 and, and, and by the way, you cannot take... Uh, uh, as a deduction, legal fees. I mean, you would think you should be able to, but you can't. 
Well, uh, if they're for processing things for a corporation or a business, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, but uh, you know, we, we know that, services. but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. And, uh, you know, even though I'm being sued and let's say I have to protect myself, I, that actually should be tax deductible, shouldn't it, by all reason? You know. You would think so. Yeah, you would think so. Nothing's going to be tax deductible soon if the uh, tax tables, ch if the tax situation changes. I know Trump wants to eliminate a lot of uh, loopholes and... Uh, wants to uh you know have a tax where people pay oh that's that's, that's, that's really numbers. good I, I, didn't, I, didn't i didn't i hear that he was going to lower the taxes rather than uh yeah well, but lower uh, the tax rate but not take and then take all the loopholes out so right. you can't deduct educational costs for your kids you can't deduct medical costs you can't uh, deduct your interest. mortgage interest rates or Interest payment. When, when, every time a Republican's in charge, they threaten that. By the way, it never by, gets through because there's too many special interest groups fighting it. Let me let me I mean, especially charities. Think about that. If charities, if deductions, oh, charities aren't deductible, people aren't going to. You know, it, it's never going to yeah. happen. Too complex. I didn't think of that. I forgot that one. That should be a wrap. Yeah. Well, what the well, Trump gives the charities? I always wonder about. You don't like the flat tax? He doesn't give shit to charity. Never going to happen. He doesn't give nothing, Alex. He's cheap. No, he, he doesn't give shit to charity. You see? Yeah. And Phil likes the guy still. I can't believe it. I know, I know he's given to the Stephen Stiller Foundation. Who gives a shit about the Stephen Stiller what Foundation? Oop de doo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I still uh, want to see his tax record. His taxes, don't. Aren't you? That's in, right. In, Did anybody yeah, hear this? On the, your taxes, Tony, to Trump? No, I want to see Trump's. He's the fucking well, president. He's the fucking president. president. Tony wants to see him. You know. I'm just. Curious I, I came up with a theory today, and I've come up with this, uh, and it's an insane theory, but I'm going to propose it and see if any anybody bites on it. Okay, and here is the proposal. Donald Trump is constantly badgering the press. He points out to them at, the, at, at uh, 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 like rallies like he had yesterday and says, those people back there, those are the enemy. That, those are the fake news people. Those are the people you have to blame for all of the blah, 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 blah. I mean, he's assigning blame to the back row and he's actually making these press people feel terribly uncomfortable when all they're there to do is to report and do their job. And I just thought to myself, you know, if I ran CNN or MSNBC, I think that I would say, okay, Donald, uh, if you're going to continue to insult us like that, we're not going to cover you any longer. <laughs> that we're just going to stop reporting the news about you. And if MSNBC and CB and uh, uh, a couple of other networks jumped on the bandwagon on this thing, this guy would die from lack of attention. Well, but, uh, he that, says the reason he's having these rallies and using Twitter is so he can talk to the people directly because he no, believes so that he the can news go, is being he, filtered. So, so he can go somewhere. So yeah, he can go somewhere where people are going to tell him how wonderful he is. And by the way, last night that speech he gave, it wasn't that wonderful. The place was only about three quarters filled. And did you notice that the pictures I saw it looked like it was overflowing? No, it wasn't. It was about three quarters. And they said full. people were starting to leave early too. Yeah, I can't. I think there were more people outside rioting than there were inside <laughs> listening. There were. Punch him right in the nose. I can't take Trump. I hate did you guy. say? What did you and say? You're right. The way Scott, he's pointing, Scott, putting his fucking thumbs up. Fuck you. Scott, somebody should just yell. Go fuck Scott, yourself. did you say uh, there were more people outside than there were inside? I thought I heard they said there was like 10,000 people outside and there's only 4,000 inside. So I, I, I don't know. That's just what I heard. I wasn't there. I got yeah. no pictures to prove it, but I'm sure it's fake news. Yeah, of the course it's fake news. I saw that place was packed. It well, was, somebody, somebody, uh, somebody, somebody, uh, somebody I, saw, I saw some pictures and, today uh, that they showed where if you took a picture from the back of the place, it wasn't filled. But it was a small a place, too. Huh? It was small. 
It's yeah. a convention. It, was a, it wasn't an arena. It well, was like a <clears throat> one of the a convention, convention center. There. A convention center. <laughs> yes, Bree. Bree. One of the uh, issues I heard, and I, I don't know the reality about this, but was I think Ben Carson came to the rally and he was introduced. And again, I don't know the reality of it, but I heard that that position is not allowed to be publicized. Um, like you can't. He can't travel there if it's a political event. Uh, and, you know, he can't use government funds to appear there, and he's not allowed to be introduced as <clears throat> his title. I don't, I don't know why this was something that I heard. So this was somehow in abeyance of some laws. Well, it wasn't he's president. He has to go there. He has to use Air Force One no, now. Ben Carson. Carson. Oh, ben Carson. If he, did he ride on the plane with him? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, ask Phil. Was Ben Carson at this rally? Uh, he was, I don't know. He was, he was at the rally. I, well, okay. Wait a second. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. So this is something I heard that yeah. that particular secretary is not yeah. allowed to be, I don't know why, but not allowed to say the title in public and tra and travel for some reason. I don't know. Well, it's a Voldemort thing. Uh, don't say his name. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff, you had your hand up. Yeah, uh, the one thing that I noticed was that uh, while uh, Trump was was uh, talking, there was a black guy. Oh, and I saw him right behind him, and he had a big, uh, big T-shirt, you know, or uh, and it said "Black People for Trump." Yeah, the guy right behind him. Yeah, I wonder if they put right. him. Yeah, he was he was there all night, just changing signs and everything. Yeah, and he, he was moving to different positions. Yeah, he kept looking at it uh, to see what was written on the no, other but side. I just, I just that think, I just think the press should do, go into radio silence on him. Why? Yeah, you know, they, they love the ratings. Well, no, but you know something. Then, if that's the case, a pox on all their houses. If I were running CNN right now, I would say, starting tomorrow, we don't mention Trump on this network. He's the president. You can't no, do you can't. You can do that. You and you state the reason why you're doing it because you're being accused of being you're being accused of all sorts of things by this guy, and that you don't want to give him any more publicity. And you watch if if people did that, he would go nuts. He would go. The Arizona Central dot com, which is uh, you know, some magazine, uh, some newspaper or something from Arizona. Uh, estimates that inside there were 15,000 people and 5,000 protesters. So uh, now I don't know how many people the venue held. And what newspaper was this? I think it was uh, 19,000. AZ Central. Uh, are they Republican? I don't. Well, everything in Arizona is Republican, but I, I don't think this was a biased thing. It was well, how just, do you know uh, it wasn't? Well, because I'm looking at it. Well, but that doesn't mean that it's not biased. <laughs> what it did was report report the uh, the attendance. All right. So, yeah. how many people does that place hold? I don't know. That's the next thing. Oh, the capacity was nineteen thousand. Ah, uh, so it's four thousand so, short of full bigger capacity. Bigger than I thought. Then I thought they said it was a small place. Yeah, at nineteen thousand, there were fifteen thousand in attendance, um, and five thousand outside protesting. So you could have taken the protesters and actually had them fill up the rest of the hall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. Come on in. And then it would have been air conditioned. Uh, they threw the shit right out of us. What's the Arizona Republic? Uh, is, this is it's got something to do with that. This must be the website for the Arizona Republic. Mm -hmm. That's the main paper. The down. mayor Alex, too, over there. What? He was knocking the mayor. Like left and right in the speech. Yeah, well. He didn't want me to come, but I came to eat. Shut up. He's such a blowhog. You know, I mean, I just, uh, uh, you know, he's, 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 lo he's losing his own, he's losing the Republican Party. Then you could say, well, good for him, good for that, you know, good for him. But that's not good for him because he's not going to, he hasn't gotten any real legislation passed. The Congress has done a few things, but he hasn't literally push stuff out of the Oval Office onto the Senate and, and, and House of Representatives floor 
for, uh, for consideration. Uh, he's done nothing when it's come to legislation. Zero. Zilch. So, and, and afraid he's got the codes right now, too. Uh, did you hear him? Who? Yes. Who said that? Yeah. Who did you say? Former, Kevin, uh, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So I'm trying, doing this from the iPad. I'm not, I haven't done it before. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you get Clapper. video from the iPad. What's that? I didn't know you could do video from the iPad. Yeah, well, yeah, we can get video now from iPads and iPhones and so on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Clapper based it him, like, basically. Said he's afraid that the guy's losing it and that, and that he's got the codes and he's afraid personally that he's got the codes for the nuclear and thinks that, you know, he's going to lose it one day and use them. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, oh boy, yeah, we all worry about that. Yeah, that, that's true. Okay. But we worry about that. I worried about that with Bush. I worried about that with, you can worry about it with anybody. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, I remember about Bush. <clears throat> but the other problem is when he's president, he really has to, he's obligated to, to say those things. And I think then all the military guys have to uh, agree with whatever he's uh saying so if he wants to call up uh, north korea and and send a, a nuke up there i don't know if they can stop them no that's what they're saying they can't well i think that they're worried uh, they're worried a little bit about we have a full house by the way now are you still there phil where'd he go oh, he's taking a break probably taking a pee Somebody. but i gotta i'm gonna bug out here in a few minutes yeah uh -huh. uh, I had a long day today, a long day tomorrow. Bree, how, long, how, long, to, how long are you here for before you go back to Dubai? I'm heading back on Friday. Heading back on Friday. <clears throat> Pittsburgh to Paris, Paris to Dubai. Have you enjoyed yeah. your time here? Hmm? Have you enjoyed your time here? Yeah, yeah. Um, I get things through Amazon and, uh, and through a couple of stores that I get things here that I can't get in Dubai and I'll take them back. What can't you get in Dubai that you can get here? Oh, there's lots of things. Um, but, uh, and some things, uh, that are much cheaper. Like I bought a Vitamixer, which is like a blender thing. Mm -hmm. And I got that refurbished from Cleveland. You know, it's much cheaper to ship it here than to Dubai. And, um, so I got that for $300 and the same unit in Dubai, uh, is about, Eight, about nine hundred dollars, eight hundred and fifty, nine hundred dollars. Oh, really? Is it because of the exchange rate? No, it, that's just what it costs there, and you can't buy refurbished things there like you can here. Um, and also like um, bacon, bacon jerky kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, like you can't get that there, obviously. <laughs> uh, I mean, some stores do sell poor products, but not specific oh yeah you're uh, not you're not yeah that's the part of the world that ain't big on pork products right yeah. um lots of other things like, so in other words in dubai if if you know it in fact it's a muslim country uh are there barbecue places in <laughs> sure barbecue beef barbecue beef but i mean is there barbecue Bar but barbecue you can't get chicken. barbecue beef in india mm, well barbecue yeah. lamb I think barbecued lamb much. there, but yeah. But what about barbecued pork? I bet you can't get barbecued pork there. Well, no in some stores, but uh, yeah. not restaurants. Well, there, it, it, uh, I take it that Dubai is not really very heavy on the religiosity of everything. Um, they they certainly can be, um, but uh, I, I think you know if you're comparing them to. You know, Sharjah or Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Obviously, you know, if there's a spectrum there. I mean, they they're might... not running around cutting people's heads off, you know, for <laughs> right. for not wearing right. the proper clothing or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in terms of being progressive in that region, absolutely, Dubai is among the top places. Yeah. You know. So if you need things for Dubai that you can't get, where, where would you go to in the Middle East? Well... Uh, most of the time, I mean, look, it's even true here in Pittsburgh. There's some things I can't get easily 
in Pittsburgh, but I can get them through Amazon, mm -hmm. and I can have them delivered. Now, we have something called Souk.com, which actually Amazon just bought. And Souk.com, Souk it means um, like bazaar or shop or, you know, store in Arabic. So Souk. <coughs> Um, so Souk.com was bought by Amazon.com, but uh, so slowly they're starting to become like more like Amazon. So we'll probably be able to get things in the future. But like, um, like I bought a new pair of uh, shoes, and I don't like the laces, so I had to get I got these ties that I put in instead. And mm -hmm. like that's you can't just find that at a store, you know. Mm -hmm. And so here. It, with Amazon, I can just get it and then get it shipped here, and I got it. You know, whereas if I'm in Dubai, I gotta search all around for that. I gotta look at stores. I gotta ask. You know, and the odds are I'm not gonna find it. So, this was true in Singapore too. A lot of times, the biggest problem is they're out of stock. You know, they don't have the exact size in Singapore. They don't sell half size shoes. So I'm I'm a nine and a half, but in Singapore you only get nine or ten. There's no half size in Singapore. Yeah. Did not um, know that. Yeah, so I had to come back to the States to get that. Um, now, in Dubai, they have half sizes. Um, but uh, let's see, what are some of the other things? Um, like, I have I have all the Amazon Dot and Echo Show and all that stuff, so I have to get that here. Can't buy that there yet. Um, does it work there? Yeah, it does. Uh, I have, like, a whole bunch. I have a whole suitcase full of stuff. Um, like I have these lens crafter wipes for my glasses because they're really good. Lens crafter wipes are, you know, not to give them an ad here, but you can't get them there, and they're really good here. So I stock up on those. Um, can I can I give you a recommendation on uh, glass glass cleaners for glasses? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a product that they use for camera lenses. Uh, it's called R O R. It's residual oil remover. R O R. And so I use it in combination with these um, Kimtech um, uh, cloths. They're um, uh, they're um, uh, paper, uh, right. a very a special lint -free. paper. Lint -free. Lint -free. Yeah, lint free. And I use it on my glasses. And if I do it in the morning, they stay free all day of uh, you know oils and and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's called ROR, Residual Oil Remover. It's a spray. Okay. Stuff is great. I just got some anti-fog stuff at uh, a sporting goods store mm -hmm. because uh, a lot of times when I walk out of the building in Dubai, my glasses will fog up. So this is like mm -hmm. anti-fogging stuff. Yeah. So I have to use that. Um, okay. This is. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but... Uh, uh, we're losing yeah, audience. We're losing audience here with this discussion about ah, fogging okay, lenses. Sorry. Well, I'm uh, I'm cutting out anyway. And uh, I, not, I don't want to insult you, Brie. It's just you know no. that. Uh, I uh, that and, and it was actually what? Phil's fault because he brought up the defogger <laughs> for lenses. So yeah. one thing is, no, I didn't. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll take it. All I know is we have very low listening levels right now, okay. and I think it has. Some, I think it what? has something to do with. Of, huh? A lot of people here. Or ask me. One question I get a lot is, "What do people think of Trump over in Dubai?" Yeah. And you know, you've asked me that too, even when I've been. Well, I think it's there. a very and common question to ask of somebody from another country because mm -hmm. I hear that in most co other countries, he's not looked upon very favorably. It's hard for me to really tell that. It's not like I, you know, have done a scientific poll. Most people that I talk to. They don't seem to really, it's not like they fully care about it, you know. Um, it's, you know, it's it, 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 occasionally well, they let me, will. Let me ask you about this. Have, let me ask you this, okay, because it could be that Dubai divorces themselves from the rest of the world's politics because they're kind of like playing their own game, as it were. Uh, do they worry or think about Putin, as an example? Or about uh, Kim Jong Un? Not really. See, in fact, that's we have a I'm North saying. Korean restaurant in town. There's a North Korean it's restaurant in town. When you get North back, Korean. make sure be sure to attack it. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, no. Doesn't serve any food though. I, I think the point that I'm making here is that, the also. Th that they may take Trump just in stride as they would Putin, as they would Kim Jong Un. 
that they have their own game going there and all they care about is whether that game works or not. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, um, and, and, you know, one of the things has been the issue between uh, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar. That's been a you know a problem uh, that they've had ever since Trump came and spoke in, in Saudi Arabia. And um, you know the the way the one way that affected me was that uh, Qatar Airways is no longer allowed to fly into Dubai and out of Dubai, and they were uh, really good in terms of. When they were in the market, they yeah. lowered the airfares for all the other ones. So, you know, having that's, I mean, I know that's only one little area, but for me, uh, you know, in terms of airfares to places, uh, you know, it's had an impact uh, with that. But Three, I don't, what country did Saudi Arabia uh, sort of attack or uh, are they having uh, military issues with? That's in Yemen. United States. Yemen. The yeah. United States. <laughs> Scott said. So, uh, uh, so, uh, and and Qatar, they think is what uh, uh, supporting Yemen? Is that it? I, no, I hear, I hear the, it's pronounced. I may be wrong, but I hear it's pronounced Qatar. That's what you mean, Qatar. Huh? That's what I was going to ask yeah. you because I, I heard Qatar. the same thing. We had a plant over there in Qatar, and, and certain people call it Qatar. Some people call it Qatar. Some people call what you said, Qatar, Qatar or whatever it was. What kind of plant? Okay. Wandering Jew. <laughs> no, it was a uh, uh, helium processing. Uh, well, Liquid Dubai is actually Dubai. Uh, oh, boy. Now we're really? How many people do we have now? I don't know if I can add another person. Oh, well, this person's trying to call in separately. Yeah, yeah. Separately well, from everybody Dubai. else. But, uh, Thanks for having me. Huh? And the rest of your evening, oh, gentlemen. Oh, oh okay. And Bree, it's been wonderful having you here. Yeah, you I'm know. glad okay. I've been able to call in. Thank you. Bye, or Dubai. Uh, let me see. Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm trying to, trying to get rid of. Them. There we go. Ah, there we. Go. I'm still pissed off that uh, China calls. Uh, uh, what, what, what they used to call it? Was it? China? It wasn't Shanghai. What, uh, what, what's the main city now that uh, in China? Beijing. Uh, Beijing. It used to be Peking. Uh, before they opened up relations. And, well, it, no, uh, I now, think it always was Beijing. It's the way the people there, call, what they called it. Uh, I mean, let's face it, we, we somehow do not call countries what they call themselves. Spain isn't Spain, it's España. France isn't France, it's... Uh, uh, no, I think it's Alemane, something like that. Oh, really? uh, Germany. Germany, Germany is, yeah, is Deutschland. Uh, but we don't we don't use those terms. We call them Germany. Where did Germany come from? There's a bunch of Germanies, and it's Germany. Still call it Peking duck, though. What are we supposed to do? Call Beijing duck? It, yeah, it yeah. is called Pe Peking duck still. Yes, uh, which I had when I was in China. And uh, was it good? Yeah, I'm not a big duck fan. Okay, well, so I like that. Uh, uh, people who had have had duck. Uh, had duck there. I mean, girlfriend has had duck, and she likes duck, and she said it was extraordinary. Um, the one thing that was interesting is, do you know what the Chinese drink before they eat a meal? Hot water. That's correct. Really? Yes. So really? I tried. I tried the hot water, and that was good. That was good. Yeah, my uh, my girlfriend always has hot water with lemon. You know, we go to a bar, or we go to the happy hour, and, you know, you're supposed to buy a drink. Yeah. Uh, she says, give me hot water with lemon, and I'll take the $2 hamburger, please. <laughs> That's normally 12 Yeah. Uh, but I, I uh, uh, you, you know, I enjoyed the hot water. It was very good. It tastes good. And then it, it then is you... hot water. Does it have, like, spices in it? No, no. Sure it is just hot water. Water, not hot, very hot. Very good for you. But hot water. That, that's it's spicy. Very good. For and the Make one thing the help. you one thing you have a hard time getting in a in a Chinese restaurant in Beijing is ice. Anywhere in these countries. Yeah. Uh, they're not ice fans like we are. Yeah, you can ask, you can ask for it. The word for it is Bing. Girlfriend learned that, and she'd say Bing, and they'd look at her weird, and then bring her some ice. Yes, Jeff. In Peru. There's a little town called Aguas Calientes. Uh -huh. Hot waters. 
Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And, and it actually has a nice little natural hot water place. And uh, after going through uh, a walk through Machu Picchu for five days, it's a nice thing to take some hot water and sit down and sit in the water and, and uh, drink some hot water. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I was looking over my mail and I tried sending some mail and again it did it double even though I removed my name from my from my list. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know how it's how it's working, you know. Uh, but I, I I just installed uh, Outlook on my Mac while everybody was talking. Yeah. I don't have an all mail folder. Uh for, for Gmail? I like no, Gmail. No, no. In in out in Outlook, I well, do not. In have Outlook, you have uh, you have on my computer, and then you have uh, uh, all it's just whatever's on your computer there. There, everything shows up once for me. So you know, I have no idea what it's about. I I, I give up. Um, you know, I just am gonna have to just live with it as it is. Uh, it doesn't double over on my uh, when I use um, uh, what do you call it uh, the mail client for the um, what do you call it for uh, 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 for the oh, Mac I for the Mac iMail oh, oh, uh, uh, I uh, you know I just uh, don't have um, I don't have any problem with it there it only comes up once you know so it's definitely an Outlook setting. It's definitely an Outlook setting, I'm sure, somewhere <coughs> or something. Uh, so who knows? Who knows? I, I, I'm slowly giving up on all of this. I think I will just uh, say to hell with it and go on my merry way and tr just not do email anymore. Uh, but, I mean, I try, I try you know, I, I, I wanted to get this thing to work. I mean, I may just take it out. I guess if I take email, email I mean, uh, gmail out and then reinstall it i can reinstall it and get all my gmail you know so i don't know i'll do that after the show worry about it later anyway uh it, it and by the way if i do it on my uh if i do it on my iphone i don't think i have that problem either reading it double it's just an outlook so who knows who knows i had that a while ago Really? How yeah. Did you, how'd you solve it? I don't remember. <laughs> you you don't remember how you solved it? No, I don't. Oh God! You, maybe you, did you get like a fourteen-year-old boy to come over and? Well, that's what I typically I got. I got three uh, granddaughters. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the fourteen-year-old is pretty. Good. Zip, zip, zip. I mean, it's got to be something. I I don't know what it is, but. Uh, I think it's what. Uh, Have you Ross found these? Have you found these articles? Top eleven reasons for duplicate emails in your in your Outlook inbox. Uh, yeah, but then it's all, always for uh, Outlook uh, for other years. You know, nothing well, very matters. Present. You know, um, but uh, what Outlook do you have? I have Outlook for the Mac. You know, and you and you today you always have the most modern version of Outlook because you pay ninety nine bucks a year and you get the whole office suite you know uh, Outlook for Mac. yeah yeah Ben Carson was at the rally I just saw it here really yeah and it says he might have violated ethics laws by being there oh 14 really 14 words whatever whatever Kevin was talking about is probably true it's on Yahoo the Hatch Act the Hatch Act yeah you guys were talking about Yemen yeah uh, the United States and Saudi Arabia basically have a food and uh, supply blockade. Uh, if you go on the Twitter and there's the hashtag Yemen will come up or look it up, there's tremendous famine, lack of food, medical supplies. There's a lot of raids by Saudi Arabia. We're just, that, 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 we're, it's genocide, basically. Saudi Arabia Sounds is committing like, genocide. Oh, by the way, like, by the uh, way, Phil, Phil, Phil just sent me a note saying it's going to be a Phil Free Thursday tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm address sure did you send that? Work. What did you send that to? What e email did you send that to? Uh, the new one. The new one, yeah. It only came up once. Okay. 
That's why I figured I'd try to send you a thing. Yeah. Hey, maybe we can get Jeffrey Lord to replace him for a day. <laughs> He's free. He's out of work. Yeah, they, they were they were yelling CNN sucks at the rally oh. in Arizona. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Jeffrey Lord? Who's Jeffrey? What's he Je- about Jeffrey Lord? Who's Jeffrey? The guy is unhinged. He's He's the pundit with the gray hair who was a big Trump supporter on CNN during uh, all up until about two weeks ago, I think. And then what the happened? He said, been, he, he, said Heil Hitler, he said Heil Hitler in a, in a Twitter post and CNN in didn't a like it and they let him way. go. Mm. He's, they they took some of his DNA way. and transplanted it into uh, Steve King, I believe, too. Well, you <laughs> If you saw him, you'd recognize. See, I mean, I just think we should stop talking about Trump. I just I'm think on the that, fence about that whole Jeffrey Lord thing, on account of the fact that I think that uh, as much as I disagree with his politics, I, I think he kind of got a raw deal on that. I, I think I agree with you. Yeah. I think I agree with you. On that. He said that he, he made that remark to a what was it, a left wing reporter or something? Yeah. yeah it was, uh, yeah. What kind of what? Ki- uh, uh, let me ask you something, uh, uh, Brian. What kind of microphone are you using there? I'm using a Blue Tiger Elite uh, Bluetooth headset. Yeah, well, it's it's really tinny. Yeah, it's lately. Lately, it's been tinny. Maybe, maybe it's the Bluetooth, you know. Maybe. Huh? Maybe. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, Anyway, I mean, uh, I just, I just think that uh, we, we should. I, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder whether we should keep talking about him here. I mean, it, uh, uh, although we're not going to make the big difference, but I just think that he is spurred on by the press saying things about him. No, because all he sees is the good stuff. No, 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 he no, 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 no. Well, he, he likes he the fact. He likes the fact that they're bothered by him. You know, he uh, likes to see the pundits talk about him on cable news twenty four hours a day. You're right. Yeah. So I mean, he loves it. Yeah. So I mean, uh, if if suddenly two thirds of that were to disappear, it would drive him crazy. But did you notice in the last few days the Republicans are starting to turn on him? They're talking about Russia because Fusion GPS um, president was had 10 hours of testimony mm-hmm. um, and they're going to probably release it they turned over 40,000 pieces of uh, 40,000 documents mm-hmm. which was opposition research on Trump and it was a, a road map if you talk to the old CIA officers it's a road map for their investigations hey Tim it, they're turnover sources too Phil 40,000 documents was just their lunch order <laughs> Absolutely. But you can tell a lot by what people eat for lunch. You can tell a heck of a lot. You can tell a lot by they're going through their garbage, too. Yeah. But uh, but they're, they're turning over sources also. So nothing's been uh, dis- disqualified from that dossier. They verified quite a bit of it, and they're still working on it. So we'll see what happens. Well, if Trump does have a proclivity for a golden shower, uh, I thought that you know, you know it'd be discrimination. I don't think that matters to... anymore because I think we're talking about collusion. Because now we have another. Well, aide look, look, you know, you know, I, I, I'm getting a, about the, uh, Trump Putin meeting. I'm getting a headache with this stuff, and I'll tell you why. Because I, you know, you, what, what are you expecting? What do you expect is going to happen? Oh, look, we have a shot right out the window, the front window of the car, as Brian is going. Now that's interesting television. Okay. Is he on the wrong side of the road? Oh. I, feel like I, I feel like I'm watching taxi like I'm there's no bridge. Yeah, no, this is this is great. Keep it that way, Brian. This is true. That's for, for Periscope, right? Huh? That's that's Periscope quality right there. That is. Uh, yeah. No. Did anybody oh. watch Periscope at all? No, we, no, we lost Brian. No, Periscope sucks. And, we have 1,000 talk shows. You want to know something? I broadcast this show one night simultaneously on uh, on uh, uh, Periscope, Periscope uh, YouTube, uh, live stream, and uh, Facebook Live. And you know the one that got only like two viewers was Periscope. 
Yeah, we got like 400 kids. viewers on YouTube on on it's all uh, kids on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Now, do you know who you know who Rick Wilson is? No. I think he worked for Cruz or maybe Romney, but he's on all the talk shows. He was on uh, Matto tonight, and he did a he broadcast live from his phone his side of the of his of his talk with Matto on live TV. So in Periscope, you could watch it from. His angle. Oh God, that uh, must. And he had fourteen thousand. Well, that's quite a bit. Yeah, well, that, that, that is quite a bit, and that shows how many morons there are in this world that will watch him. Well, right, let me think about was... morons. Uh, Below the deck, Mediterranean. Ah, yes, I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> now that is, it, it's, it's like, um, it's like an accident that everybody stops to did, watch. Did you watch that? Did you watch it? Fourteen episodes. You, you know what I? Oh, really? What I yeah, love about I that watch the whole that season. What I love about that show is that um, I don't I don't know what's wrong with Brian here, but anyway, we're he's probably having some internet. Uh, uh, I what I love about that show is yes, there's this whole thing about all these people who work below deck and how they fall in yeah. love with each other and how they're fucking each other and all of that. But there's also it's a travel log as well. So it's kind of yeah. like a candy bar that's you know it's got. A, a, a chocolate on the outside and a creamy nougat center, you know? <laughs> it, it's kind of like Jersey Shore with money, you know? Oh, and, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, know, you got the different uh, people that rent the super yacht and, um, uh, you know, I... But like, if I, I won the big... If I, I won the big... If, the, if I won the, the big lottery tonight, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking all of you on a yacht well, in the Mediterranean. Which, which was the girl that everybody wanted to bang... Uh, uh, started when I am. didn't follow it that closely. Uh, you know, yeah, you well, apparently got into it. I didn't watch it that closely. I just okay. would put it on I, and I would go, "Oh, that looks nice," and she's got nice tits, and you know. Yeah, well, she probably ended up with Captain Sandy. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, yeah. Captain Sandy is the female captain of the boat. Yeah, but uh, anyway, uh, um, you know the show that I really love, and I, I, if you're not watching this show, I uh, I uh, tell you, you must seek it out and watch it, and that's Preacher. Uh, yeah, anybody watch, watch Preacher? I didn't even watch it yet. It's I love pretty. it. Huh? Did you see it last night? Yes, no, last night. Awesome. Last night they did a piece of television that I think. Ten years ago, would have gotten them thrown off the air. Oh my God! It opens up with a couple in bed, and they're fucking their brains out. They're even like shadows of them doing it in every conceivable position. And finally, they're through, and they're exhausted. And he says, "Well, I gotta go." And she says, "Why don't you stay for supper?" And you probably didn't catch this line, Scott. Well, what is that? No Wait, what is that noise? Hold, hold on a second. What's that noise? Got some uh, thing going on in the background. What is that? Brian, Brian is that you? Brian, is that you making that noise? Oh, okay. It might be. I'm eating my mic. Oh, Thanks. oh, okay. Anyway, um, uh, he says, uh, I, "I've got to go." She says, "Would you like some supper?" He says, "No, I already ate." Did you <laughs> catch that line, Scott? Oh yeah. Yeah, but you, but you, but you, but the trouble is, the line comes before the payoff, so you don't really you have to watch it again to get that line. And then there's a knock on the door, and the guy gets up and he puts a robe on, and he's kind of got some light glistening from behind him, and he opens up the door, and they're knock, there's a knock on the door, and they say, "Are you there? Are you inside, Jesus?" And it's Jesus Christ. He's been fucking this woman, and. Um, it is, it, it, and then when you go back to, uh, you know, would you like, why don't you stay for supper? Oh, I already ate. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then they're saying, come on, Jesus, we got to go because uh, what was the line? Um, um, Judas has uh, yeah. got the getaway mules, uh, getaway oh, donkeys. Last we saw we were, you were in the garden praying, and, and you said, yeah, and I came out, and you're all asleep, so I came over here and visited with, I don't know who that was. And probably then, some then it turns on, later on in the show, they do another flashback, and she's giving birth to a baby. Apparently, what? Christ fucked her and got her knocked up. And so the whole, the whole story on the show, that episode, was the fact that there is a generation after generation after generation of the Son of God. About 25 of them, maybe something like that, Scott. 
And when they and when you finally meet the most recent uh, um, uh, so-called uh, Christ, uh, he's so inbred <laughs> that he's a complete retard, uh, and it's oh, wonderful. He's and he's like humping people's legs. <laughs> like my I mean, this show is just <laughs> so out there. Am I right, Scott? Maybe. Could, could you imagine him doing that with something about Muhammad? Oh my God! Oh well, yeah, they down. Yeah. Hey, what work is it on? It's on. It's on the AMC. AMC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can probably find somewhere where they're showing. Well, I get AMC. Yeah, but you, 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 do you get something where you can get AMC and and get all their old shows yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Swing. I can see oh. the old shows. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. They even replay it a couple of times during the week. You don't have. There was a season last year. You could watch that, but it's not as good as it this year. This year, it just really kicked ass. And and uh, there's a guy who went to hell, and he's in hell with Hitler. <laughs> you, know? you know Hitler's there. Right? Yeah, and uh, uh, it it's a uh, it's it's a great show. It's really a great oh, yeah. show. It's crazy, and it's based on a uh, on a graphic novel. So. It, it, Tony should yeah. know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, my, my brother's big into it. He's watching. He loves it. He has all the comments, though. Yeah. I didn't start watching it. I can't. I, I know you like it, too. Yeah. Just start yeah, watching this year's. You don't really have to know much, except for the fact that uh, God has gone missing, and this preacher is going looking for God. It sounds interesting. Story. It, it, it's not the fact that it's an interesting story. It's just hilarious. Oh, okay. And what's interesting about it, too, is that the female star of the show is Ruth Naga. Now, does that name mean anything to any of you? She was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress this year for a oh, film called Loving. And she's one of the stars of this. And the fact that she got nominated for an Academy Award and is sticking with this show says a lot about her. I, I love her. She's terrific. If you don't do anything, watch that. Okay. I'm gonna have to give that a look. I, I, wish, I just started watching. And I then, when you have food. nothing to do tomorrow, figure out why my outlook is doubling over on mail. I'm sure. Uh, did, I'm sure I'll just, find the did, answer eventually. What? I just sent you something that didn't double over, but when you send something, it double it doubles over. So I think Rob's well, right I, about no, BCC. No, no, if I send something, I think that's right. If, I, think if, it's if, if, well. if I send mail back to you, let's say I return your mail, okay? Okay. So I'm going to do a reply, and right. I go, "Good, I'm glad you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're uh, gone." Please excuse yeah, I think the typing. You're losing, you're losing viewers again, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Anyway, watch what uh, watch what happens. You'll only get it once. I'll probably get it twice here. Okay. Okay. Well, so that supports the BCC deal. Well, yeah, that, that that happened yeah, to me too. Yeah, but I don't know where. So how did you get rid of it? Uh, well, it's in it's in email, so I don't know how you do it now. But... Oh, it's in email. Yeah, Did you just get my happen. letter it back? Was, uh, there was a, it was set on a BCC setting, and I was getting twice of everything. Yeah. Oh, it was I'm, just blind copy myself, and I never. I had to go in there and turn it off, and that's what did it. Oh, okay. okay I got it. Yeah, you got one, right? Yeah. Okay, now just let one. me look here and see what happened uh, when I sent it. And I've got you, uh, I've got what I sent you twice here. Okay, then you got the BCC thing going on. Yeah. It is. Yeah, but I don't know where you would turn that off. There's no, uh, there's got there's a place. Oh, um, I know there's the a Outlook. setting in there somewhere. Yeah, in Outlook, uh, you mean? I haven't used Outlook for so in long. Outlook, I can't yeah. remember where it would be. Well, if anybody can tell me where the BCC is in Outlook, I I have a Outlook for Dummies book uh, at work, so I'll I'll see if I can find well, it. Well, but you see, what happens is when you get these books, up, or you go to a site about it asking questions. And then you look at the date, and it was like Outlook from five years ago. Well, yeah, this book is two thousand three. <laughs> oh well, then forget it. You know, it's out, usually out, pretty close. Outlook for Dummies is here's where you put the subject matter. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, something something's BCCing it, I guess. But I don't know where mm -hmm. I would turn that off. So. Yeah. Life is is hell. I just you see, I mean. I'm a guy who loved technology. 
I, you know, I was a, a big fan of technology. You now know that. You, you, know, you know that, Phil. When I when you knew me, I was into technology. Absolutely. You know, and into anything Stupid. that that was technological that could get me closer to to some kind of goals. And now I just find it is absolutely fucking maddening. Mm. You know, and I think we rely on all of this a little bit too much. Uh, to the extent that eventually, if something breaks down, this whole society is going to be destroyed because we don't have it. I mean, let's say we're knocked out by some kind of giant Internet thing, a, a electronic pulse or something, and nobody can use the Internet, that it's down. It's down for months and months and months. And it's, Am I right, Rob? It's conceivable it's that could happen. Is, is, yeah. That is conceivable. It could, be, it could be a solar flare. It could be any number of things. What would what would happen to this country? All business would stop. Yeah, people would I, go. Pop, people would go into deep seated depression about this stuff. You know, uh, all my main Just, uh, programs are on the uh, cloud. Uh, so without the internet, uh, if I, I was taking a, a one hour uh, class today uh, that uh, on how to use my new uh, contact management software. And uh, I try to do something, and he says, hey, you lost Internet connection. And so we, I had to wait a second or two until all of a sudden it came back uh, before I could click yes on, on a thing. Uh, so, yeah, without, uh, without the Internet, uh, I'm fucked, and I think the rest of the world would be. You can't process a credit card. Yeah. You, can't, uh, uh, you, you, you can't do anything. Well, I mean, you just... You, uh, do, does that, I think we just figured out why those... Four navy ships crashed. Well, I mean, right? uh, uh, there is the systems are not good. The systems are just not good. Well, I mean, he, he, what you what, what what's happening is we're living in a world in which if this main link breaks down, I mean, people are going to die because hospitals rely on the internet, and and uh, you know, doctors rely on the internet. Uh, how are you going to you know it? it if we had to get along without the internet, and believe it or not, there was a time when we did. When I was growing up as a teenager, there was no internet. There was no internet till what? J Jeff remembers this. Uh, probably till we were in our in our uh, at least thirties. Uh, in my twenties, yeah. Yeah, thirties. We, we, we used. To, I used to work at a grocery. You could crank the registers, the NCR registers, if the power went out. You would just yes. crank them with the yeah, crank. Yeah, right, right. But yeah. the thing is that that. The internet has taken over our lives to such an extent that nobody can understand what it was like to live without it, and yet we did. You know, why can't we charge the rest of the world for the internet since the internet was developed by our country? Uh, we can't even get Mexico to pay for the wall. Phil. I don't know that that's entirely a hundred percent true, <laughs> Phil. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true that we invented the internet. I think I that uh, <clears throat> we and a lot of other countries were involved. We, we can't even get the internet companies to pay taxes right well they're starting to but uh, you're right but they you know, don't pay taxes we, com we complain that we don't have tax money for infrastructure well, we don't have tax money to fix potholes but uh many people who do interstate transactions on the internet are not exempt from paying tax don't, but don't we own the, the means of communication they use don't we own all the frequencies well, why don't this, we just triple the charges well this is the problem uh, the uh, if they send something from let's say Georgia to California and uh, and and there's no tax collected, it's incumbent on the person in California to declare and pay the tax. But Absolutely. many people that don't. Doesn't work. Yeah, well, it's they have to police themselves, and so, and that doesn't work. So what they want to do, like with a company that has a presence in California, if you have a brick and mortar store in California and one in Georgia, then that Georgia company is responsible to collect the taxes from uh, uh, people in California buying their goods and services. But if you uh, now what they have to do is they have to say a presence in California is also an internet presence and once they do that then maybe they can cause those companies to have to collect the tax and pay yeah, it. You're supposed to declare it on your tax return. Right. right. But, but nobody does. Yeah, in the state the state tax return here in Michigan. We had an example of the internet the other day. They had a, a storm in Lansing, our capital, and nobody could use their food stamp cards for half a day. People went crazy. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, aren't we 
painting ourselves into a corner we can't get out of. Jeff? Yeah, I'm stuck with a, a cell phone that I can't get it resolved. And uh, I've gone to Apple, the, the Verizon, uh, I've gone to Costco, and uh, I'm just kind of going through the loop with these guys. And what's your problem with your iPhone? I, I can't get a cell phone call. You can't get a call? No. Turn, yeah. turn the uh, little red button on the side. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have to turn it on first, yeah. Hey, oh, man, try, try, so I'll try to change the battery. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't change the battery on those, can you? No, you got to take it to the uh, iPhone store. There, change is, it. You, there yeah. is a setting um, that, that has to do with uh, the, uh, the signal. And I can't remember where that is exactly. But there's a signing on, basically, to... Uh, uh, the the internet itself or onto your phone system, so I I don't know. I mean, when you look at your phone, does it say who your carrier is, and does it say? Uh, no, it says that it's uh, no service. No service, and you can't go somewhere like like an Apple store and have them say, "Here's what you got to turn oh, on." Oh yeah, I go to Apple and they say, "Buy a new cell phone." Well, how yeah. old's your cell phone? <laughs> That's their. I mean, they go through this whole shenanigans of testing it, this, that, and the other thing. And they go, well, this will work for a while, but if it doesn't, you need a new how, cell phone. How, uh, Alex had a good question. How, how old, old is, is your it? cell phone? Oh, probably a year and a half, two years. It, then well, it, should be, the... it should be working. It should yeah. be yeah. working. I know. There's but, no... But there's I mean, a... that had a... That, that, uh, Did you get wet? Verizon... I actually paid some extra money to have a safety if it breaks. Yeah. Well, then take it back Just and say, down. say, say it's no. broken. You know, you yeah. want. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Alex. Yes. Have you uh, turned off the setting? Do not save copies of sent items. Do, where is that? Where is that? That is in the. Uh, it's on the advanced tab of the account settings. The advanced tab of the account settings. Oh, I've got The account got settings there. for that e for the for the Gmail email. Uh, There's an advanced tab, and then the, oh. it says here that yeah. that happens. Uh, it says here this happens because you are sending via SMTP server of Gmail and have Outlook configured to save a copy of each sent item. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I go to advanced in my Gmail. Then yeah. I've got download headers only. That's not checked. Sync IMAP folders every two minutes. Use IMAP idle if the server supports it. And there's nothing else there. Wait a minute. Then there's folders. There's uh, On the advanced, there's nothing that says do not save copies of sent items? No. Don't store, no, don't store copies of sent, uh, sent messages. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, okay. If that was checked, then you could test it and see if that fixed it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll try it. Don't. It says don't store mess a copy of sent messages. Right. Okay. Well, that means it won't show me my sent messages, but. Uh, but you'll get them because of SMTP because you're going to get them from from Gmail. I'm going to get them from Gmail. And I right. guess you can look in the sent messages box. Well, we'll see what happens. That's I'll try. What it that. says. Okay. Uh, it, 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 Send me uh, that message it, again. Is, was that under some kind of article about how to get rid of double stuff? It says here, prevent duplicate sent items while using Gmail and Outlook. Oh, okay. So that, that probably was what it does. Okay. So, see? Problem solved. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody out there. <laughs> oh, you know? Wait, wait, wait. you got to test it first. Yeah, send the email again. You want me to try it? Okay, I'll try it. I, I don't want to... can't go off the air until we know this works. Oh, we can't go off the air until we have to solve. Okay, so I go over here, uh, new email, and I want this to go out over Gmail. That's how this problem happens. And I will do it to um, A, B, E, N, N. You know what I could do? Send it to yourself. Actually, forget it. I don't have to send it to me. Discard changes. Here's what I'll do. I will go to the... The fill mail, is the fill mail here? Yeah, here's the fill mail. And then I will go uh, 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 reply. 
and then I will go fuck you. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> Says the nicest things. Yeah, well, I mean, I got to send something. Okay, and I just said fuck you to Phil. Phil, have you gotten it? <laughs> right? Uh, okay, it's showing up now. Oh, there it is. Fuck you. Yeah, but fuck you know me. Something? Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, wait, wait a minute. It, uh, there, there's the fuck you there. Let's see here. Did it come up here? Uh, it well, only came up once, but it did come up in my all mail because it's in the sent mail. Okay. Right. Because because it's in the sent mail. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it only came up once. And, uh, yeah, so yeah. M- maybe I'll that solved your problem. Well, at least it solved it partially. I'd like to know how not to have the sent mail show up in my all mail. It, you know. I think all mail is a filter that uh, it's it's not that you're getting it twice. It's just two different boxes. That yeah, but that's you where to I'm going to that's where I'm gonna mail read. Or, uh, oh, you know something? Ah, yeah, because on my uh, on my on the actual web site they have yeah. uh, uh, Gmail has a thing called inbox right and the inbox is where I probably would see that all mail is another category yeah so, so it's just it, a filter so it's just that there is nothing here that that says uh, incoming mail it will just see all the incoming mail so I don't well, I'll have to figure that out anyway all the incoming and the outgoing that's what all mail should be, is both. Yes, right. In and out. But I don't have a thing that just says, uh, uh, you know, uh, incoming. So. Uh, yeah, okay. can't you click on the your uh, web address, not web address, your, uh, your email address? For instance, in my Outlook, I have three or four different email addresses. So I click on one, and it gives me the stuff for Phil Meyer at blah, blah, blah. The other one I click on, it's Phil at Carpet One, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so I go through them mm-hmm. uh, uh, in, in the Outlook on the, uh, on the column. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out. I, I, I think it's because I don't have a thing that says incoming on, uh, listed in mm-hmm. Outlook, and I should have a category of incoming. So. Um, yeah, well, you do have an inbox. If so, if you click on the address in Outlook, uh, your your email address, and then you click the down arrow, there'll there'll be a bunch of boxes that'll yes, drop I, down. I, I, I know, I know, but it, but, what, but it and I see those, but one of them does not say incoming like it does online. Oh, uh, you might have to name it or choose it. It could be. It could be. What's this piece of email? Alex, you're going to have to do a graphic novel about this, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> yep, there's no question about it. Uh, hey, you know Trump's what's ironic? Stuff. What? Uh, it took a clapper to ring the bell on Trump. I'm so tired of Trump. I'm really exhausted. I, I mean, I but, just. But did, you, did you get tired I, of Watergate, though, when it was happening, too? I'm tired of Trump. I'm tired of Trump. I'm no, tired of too, him. I'm, tri- I'm tired of him. Look. Obama never, ever in his entire term uh, completely inundated us with the news every day. Every day no. we're paying attention to Trump. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He, every day we pay attention to Trump. We went a week or so without having to pay attention to Obama. You know? This is a spoiled brat who's crying a lot and we pay attention to him. And I'm just saying... That just think, like a child who is being demanding and crying, if we I don't pay attention strategy. to him, if we don't pay attention to him, he will stop crying. I don't know that you got it right. I think his strategy is he wants to screw with the establishment. and uh, He doesn't and have he anything he wants to do. All he wants to you do is... To have, you have to have principles to do that. You, you give him too, yeah. you give him well, too much credit well, for having an agenda. He doesn't have a fucking agenda. His only agenda is... The aggrandizement of Donald Trump. Well, I, I got to do this for Tim. Clap on, clap off, the no. clapper. <laughs> no, for, uh, for, oh, better than that, for whom yeah. the bell tolls. Uh, it tolls for thee. That's, yeah, that's, that's for Trump. I, you're hearing a lot more Republicans turning against Trump now. So Absolutely. They, they, they know they can't get elected with a Trump endorsement now. And he's you know, now the Congress, threatening... The, the, 
he's now threatening because, to sh- to to shut down the government to get his wall. Mm. What well, is that, that? That sounds like something you'd see in Doctor Strangelove or Idiocracy, <laughs> not real life. Yeah. I like it. He didn't say one thing about the the so, the, so, the sailors that got hurt at that speech, and nothing who to McCain, who's is that after him, who's got cancer and wishing him well. And he was in Arizona. That's his friend. Uh, he, he spoke negatively about McCain. <laughs> yeah, I know. And he, but he was afraid to say their name because he's such he's such a child. He's such a child, a man, a man child. Oh, yeah, they told it, me not to it, say it, the it, name, it, so it, I'm not going to say the name, but it, you know it, who it is. It, it, and then he says, well, very presidential, huh? It just sounds like a fucking child. But Tim, 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 you know, you obsess about Donald Trump. You know, and that's exactly what he but, wants you to do. I mean, you know, you, I know, but you, you, this is our country, Alex. This is our he's country. He's ruining the well, country. He's ruining the EPA. It, all all I'm saying, all I'm, all I'm saying is, if you, maybe if we don't pay attention to him for like a month, he will stop crying. Never okay, happened. and it's yeah, not up to us have. to do that. Blood pressure Never put down. Well, I just think I, that I, I think I, I think the I, press is an enabler for Donald Trump. Could be. Yes, Jeff. It's their job. Uh-huh. Their job is also to make sure that people don't game them. Okay, Jeff? Well, that's true. Jeff? That's true. I don't know how Tony feels, but I grew up in Queens, and I'm embarrassed. Mm-hmm. I, I, I hate Trump. Trump. I, mean, I, I hate him. <laughs> you know why I hate him? I'll tell you why, Phil. I'm going to tell you, Alex, too. It's like Alex said. It just seems like he's... So conceited, and there's nothing likable about him. It's like he's laughing at us all the time. Like I'm better than you. Well, the, I have more yeah, money he, than you. You hear him bragging he's, about his education last night. Oh, he do. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, the whole is, it's nothing more than a rich kid playing with a real with something real. Well, I he guess he's that 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 Obama's time. daughter. Yes. Obama's daughter started at um, at Harvard, and uh, Obama and uh, and his wife had to fly back and deal with it because when they try to put her in a dorm with three or four girls in it, she refused to do it. So uh, Obama came back and and put her in a, a single dorm. What's your point? Well, I'm just saying uh, you're, uh, you know, that uh, he's, he's a, you know, a rich, spoiled kid, and uh, so I, I changed the is. subject a little. Yeah, but she's not the president, right? She it's doesn't the have the president. job of being a president. Yeah, well, she took a year off, and now she's come back to school, and uh, well, it just so happens that it happened today. I have another good one, not to talk about Trump. I bought an Apple pencil. Uh, hmm. For my iPad, so yeah. Well, uh, I tried using it today, and uh, it worked. You know, well, kind of course, of. it works. You can write on anything. You, just gotta, you gotta keep it charged. <laughs> yeah, that's the pain in the ass. Well, uh, you also yeah. sharpen. Be sure you sharpen it. <laughs> you can't sharpen. Oh. <laughs> but uh, no, Tim, you, it only works on an iPad. Uh, oh, you work it on the iPad itself. Okay. Yeah, so it's a, a Bluetooth pencil, and. Uh, uh, you know, I tried using it and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. I got pissed off, and then uh, finally, uh, I, my iPad said it's not paired. So, <laughs> and I had charged right. it. it doesn't, you have to. Why do you have to pair an Apple? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, no, uh, no rim shots. <laughs> no, but. I don't do that. So. No. Do you think, here's a question. I know, I don't want to scare anybody, but when we saw he had 15,000 people there yesterday. Do you think he has a shot at winning? No. I know it's far down the road. 31. He's not running. Number one, number one, let's, let, let's, let's be fair when we say that he is in the, how could we call it, life's um, uh, end zone. Uh, he is in a part of his the life Twilight where at any time we could hear that he has something and he's dying. Uh, I don't know that he could live for another term. Uh, you, uh, Jeff, you had your hand up. That I'm always strange. for that. You're always for that. I, really, I think it's time for him to uh, have a good hospital 
hang out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with you. Do you, do you think he I mean, has a tumor too? You no, know, I, I think I think what what's going to happen with Trump is stroke, is what I'm thinking. Because the way he eats, he's nervous. Well, I mean, nervous breakdown. Look at the way he looks. I mean, does he look like a healthy man to you? No. He plays golf. Well, you know, You're golf the, is not, I hate to say this, but golf is not a terribly athletic sport. You do a lot of walking, but he doesn't walk. He uses the goddamn buggy to get around, okay? And he drives on the green. If, and, if and then you get, they, that's a lot of work. It, for, uh, and then, and then, what? If you're a sandbagger, it's a lot of work. Yeah, but I'm I'm just saying that that's yeah, that's not truly green, that's dude. not truly exercise. Phil, when he goes scuba diving, that's exercise. Yeah. Okay. So he, take, he, yeah. Take, he takes ten foot gimmies too. Yeah, he cheats, like him everything else. Well, so. you, you know, he, you know why he gets to cheat because he though. he owns the golf course. Yeah, they gotta let him win. Yeah, yeah that's why he can get him on the green. They say that everybody who goes playing golf with him loves. They have a great time. He's a great host. But they all say he cheats. See, uh, see Does he get see Cuban Phil. cigars? I don't know. Yeah. But we don't. Know. You know, in Cuba, they're saying that all of these diplomats are starting to have psychological problems and so forth because of the, uh, the, uh, the um, was it, sonic blasting or something that they're... Uh, yeah. 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 So today's news was talking about how these guys are uh, being hospitalized. Uh, because of it. Oh, you've been in Cuba? Yeah. I also saw that they were putting the radioactive nails in their tires and several other really oddball techniques, which is probably <laughs> Russian or Russian, of Russian origin. You see, my you know, friend they- has been living in Cuba now for three years, and uh, he came back to... Uh, he's, he's going back on Thursday, and, um, you know, he. I said, well, you know, how is it there? What What's going on? He says... The people really don't give a shit about anything. They just want to survive. And, you know, they, they don't know from politics. They don't know from any of this stuff. He says they just, they're just just looking to survive. By the way, and, uh, for Scott's benefit, um, uh, somebody wrote that during last night's Preacher, as she was fucking the guy at the beginning of the show, she keeps saying, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's, I might have missed that. Yeah. Go back and watch it if you can. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I plan on it. I think, I think at least tomorrow is going to be on the on-demand on uh, Spectrum. Well, I showed it to my wife because I said, you got to see this, you know. And she did enjoy what she saw, you know. Uh, but, but, but as I'm watching it the second time, I'm hearing this stuff like her saying, in response to him fucking her, Jesus, you know. And you just take that as the yeah. common thing. And then that line about... Um, you know, what, can't you stay for supper? And he said, no, I've eaten already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when I knew he'd already been to the last supper. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it was. It what, was what network is it again? AMC. You got to You got to see this show. Oh, okay. It is just the best. It is yeah. so it was, good. It is great. so good. Well, you know. I, I think God has a sense of humor. Yeah. I've tried yeah. to do tonight's show thinking about my my problem with Outlook. And, and that's why I hate the internet and uh, uh, that's why I hate having to deal with this stuff constantly but what the hell you know well, I, you got I, to I, do. We, we still had a lot of people watching this and uh, a fair amount of people let's see here listening to it let's see here do we lose very many uh, uh, yeah well we didn't have a big audio audience tonight but what the hell you know it's, you uh, got a Facebook audience? Uh, Facebook, yeah, got a good, good Facebook yeah. audience. Anyway, well, stay tuned. See you Friday. Stay tuned for another episode of Improving Your Outlook. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Part two. Boy, there's another yeah. pun. Thank you. Anyway, hey, listen, everybody. Thank you for I having. I like it when they're true. <laughs> for having joined me tonight. Why don't you just all give a big wave, bye bye, yeah. except for Tim, of course, who's never seen but heard, and uh, we'll I'm see. I'm waving. We'll we'll. We'll, we'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully, except for Phil. Bye. Uh, and anyway, that's our uh, that's our, our show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on a second. Uh, sorry if I uh, spent the evening trying to solve my little uh, my little problem, but uh, wait a minute, what? Where where did everybody go? Where where do I turn this thing off now? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh boy, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I know where I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off up here. Okay, there we go. That's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's all she wrote. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, the intersection is next with Jack and Amy, and then, of course, Connections at Midnight. I'm Alex Bennett, and we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay.